Here's a girl who's from this area, and she comes to me for a second opinion. Gee, should I have this tooth uncovered or not? She's been in braces for three years. She had a three week long headache that's been going on. She never told her mom. And I looked in her and I t palpated her joints. I palpated her muscles and she went through the roof. She's got this much space right here and all orthodontists are taught you can't have any spaces. Even though we have a primate space, primates have primate spaces that we learned about and yet you finish the case you're going to get downgraded if you don't close the space. Well, her mandible is already trapped. Her mandible has no place to go, and there's this much space left, and the orthodontist is retracting. And he's got these closing loops in here to do so. You pull the wire back here, bend it up, and, the, and this just cranks these back, pulls the front teeth back. There's no space here. There's no overjet. The joints had not started to click. And I said to the mom, I said, forget, you know, yeah, get this uncovered if you wish. But you, I view this as an emergency situation. I think you need this, this thing cut out of here right now. I cut it out of here, cut the closing loop out of here. One week later, the space had increased. Now you're going to see all the spaces over here. That is when we first saw the patient. One week later and six weeks later, look at the difference in the space right here, or right over here, clear over to here. And nothing was happening except the tongue was pushing the teeth forward. The headaches were gone. I called the patient two days. I saw her on a Thursday. I called the house on a Saturday. How are you doing? My headaches are gone completely. Gone.